I'm Brooke Milligan. I'm in the Department of Biology at New Mexico State University, and I'm specializing in population genetics and related fields like landscape genetics and conservation genetics. I've been at NMSU for approximately 22 years. I came because of the opportunity to work with a great group of biology faculty in the department, and that's been a wonderful experience over the years. My background in population genetics is fairly uh, eclectic, I think. I entered the field as a physics major and then studied uh, ecology and became especially interested in population genetics because it's related to things like natural selection and other factors that influence the diversity of life. Population genetics is all about how much genetic diversity there is in natural populations how does that diversity change through time, and why does it change? The Jefferson Science Fellowship Program is a national program that tries to recruit scientists to inform both the State Department and USAID on science-related issues. For example, the State Department has been actively involved in many, many issues around the world relating to climate change, deforestation, illegal wildlife trafficking, all of which have strong science components, and they need expertise from the scientific community to help guide their policy making. I was the first Jefferson Science Fellow from New Mexico. I spent a year in Washington, D.C., working with the office involved with wildlife trafficking and deforestation, and helped guide them on their programs and policies and negotiations that are happening worldwide on all of those topics. Over the years, I've published over 50 papers, which have accumulated almost 5,000 citations. Having a body of well-cited work is very gratifying because it means that what I've been doing has had an impact on the ability of other people to carry on their science. Traditionally, DNA sequencing was done after a process of amplifying the DNA with the polymerase chain reaction. Interestingly, there's some brand new technology that's emerging that reduces both the cost of acquiring genetic sequence data and the time and complexity of preparing the samples for that. I've had the opportunity to work with some of these brand new devices these handheld sequencing devices that allow one to collect DNA sequence data in real time using a portable device. What this will enable me to do is collect genetic data not in a lab setting, but in a field setting. Just as I focus my research on genetics and related fields, my teaching is also on in genetics and related fields. So there are several different ways I connect my teaching with my research. One is directly through students in the lab and teaching them the skills required to be a practicing scientist. Another, though, is bringing the excitement of real science into the classroom. I mentioned earlier that I came here to be part of a great biology department. That continues to be true. I interact with a variety of people in the department on a daily basis and get great inspiration from my colleagues. It's also true that the environment of southern New Mexico is fabulous as a place to live. There's a lot of diversity in the natural environment to take advantage of. The cultural diversity, the artistic diversity, all of that it makes for a great place to live. Brooke Milligan, Department of Biology, College of Arts and Sciences.